<laughs> yes, sir. We got a big eclipse. You know, we're just days away from the total eclipse of the sun. Monday, more than 31 million people from South Central Texas to Maine will be in the prime location to experience this historic celestial event. All right, you're not going to want to miss this, that's for sure. Joining us now is NASA senior research scientist, Dr. Eric Christian. Going to tell us more about this exciting experience. All right, doctor, this eclipse is uh, going to be a major event. What is the very best way to enjoy it? So actually, people tend to spend their time trying to take pictures of it. We recommend that people leave that to the professional photographers. If you're in the path of totality, look at it because you can take your eclipse classes during partial eclipses before and afterwards. And if you're not in the path of totality, you got to wear your official eclipse classes to protect your eyes. But during the totality, you can take your glasses off and as the eclipse continues over four minutes, your eyes will get more and more adapted and you'll be able to see more and more of the solar corona, the atmosphere of the sun, extending further from the sun. And it's just a really neat experience. You, you know, doctor, that is just totally awesome. So you can view it if you're in totality, but my question is, when you're watching that, because I'm so paranoid, when do you know when to put those glasses back on? So as soon as the sun starts to peek out, to the moon, what we call the diamond ring situation. Put your glasses back on. You'll know it. Your your body will react to the brightness of the sun. Put them back on. But uh, it's really pretty easy. So. Okay. So as soon as it gets just kind of too bright for you, put them back on. Yep. Okay. The tiniest part of the sun can damage your eyes if you stare at it. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. So I, I think I'm going to do it for a little bit, and that's probably it. But, you know, with this total solar eclipse, we've got a extra little comet that's thrown in there, and you've got Venus, and you've got Jupiter, just all kinds of things that are really cool. Yeah, so you'll be able to see several of the planets. The, the comet isn't very bright, but you might be able, especially if you're actually looking so your eyes are dark adapted, you might be able to see this comet. So that would be really cool. I've never seen a comet during a total solar eclipse. That, that's, that's, a, that's a rarity, right? All right, what are you most excited about for this eclipse? So NASA's going to do science with this eclipse, but personally, I really like the fact that we can share this solar science with the entire country. For me, science is really exciting, and this is an opportunity to let the public see some of what we do. Yeah, and I'm sure you're going to be doing all kinds of that. Matter of fact, I think NASA is setting up shop in, in Kerrville, I believe. But, Doctor, where are you going to watch the eclipse? So I'm actually going to be in Junction, Texas, uh, with a live TV and webcast with the Exploratorium Science Museum from San Francisco. Okay, now i, I got to ask you, why did you pick Junction of all places? I love Kimball County. I like Junction, but why did you pick Junction? Because looking at the long-term climatology from a year ago, that looked like the best odds for not having clouds. So we always pick our eclipse sites, not only for being in the path of totality near the, the main center part where you get the longest eclipse, but also looking at long-term cloud predictions. You, you know what, Doctor, it's amazing you say that because I just made myself a note about 30 minutes ago and I was looking and I think from Junction, if you drew a line from Junction to Waco and northward along that line, that's going to be a little bit better viewing because there's going to be a lot of high clouds. So I think you're onto something there, Doctor. We've done this a number of times and so we're, we're we, especially this exploratorium in San Francisco has gotten really good at predicting where they, to go for the eclipse. Okay, for those that say that this is not a big deal, the next one here in South Texas is a long way out, right? Right, so the next total solar eclipse anywhere in the U.S. is 20 years away. And so if you really can get to the path of totality for this one where there are clear skies, it's worth doing. It's worth doing. Everyone well, should see a total solar eclipse. Yeah, well, doctor, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. All right. All right. Kins 5 is the place to watch the solar eclipse. Next Monday, we'll have complete coverage streaming on our website, kins5.com and Kins 5 Plus. You can watch it again April 8th from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock. Sure to be a once in a lifetime event, but you know.